Over the past year, China has put several critical materials on export ban lists, in particular those that have a dual-use purpose. Dual-use means that they have both civilian and military applications. They began with gallium, germanium, and antimony. When this article was published, supply chain managers were already having serious problems sourcing those, and prices went straight up. Now there are concerns that more will be added. Tungsten, we've highlighted in red because China announced an export ban on tungsten last week. Titanium is yet another metal crucial to weapons systems and aviation. And the dual use aspects of titanium are intriguing for another reason. Titanium is a very important metal for the production of industrial robots. Goes without saying that China's military wouldn't care to see their titanium being used to build military grade robots in other countries. But industrial robots installed in North America and Europe would undermine China's factory sector. Our policymakers know that the only way to reshore production back to the United States or Western Europe is by automating our factories, because only that has a chance to be cost competitive against Chinese industry. But we need a lot of titanium to build robots in our markets, and China and the other BRICs have the titanium.